Liraglutide is a glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1, analog used to treat patients with type 2 diabetes. It lowers blood glucose and is associated with weight loss, blood pressure reduction, and an increase in heart rate. In a multicenter study, investigators randomized 9,340 patients who were 50 or older, had type 2 diabetes, and were at high cardiovascular risk to receive either liraglutide or placebo in addition to standard care to assess the potential effect on cardiovascular outcomes. At baseline, over 70% of the patients had cardiovascular disease. The mean duration of diabetes was 12.8 years, and the mean glycated hemoglobin level was 8.7%. At three years, the mean glycated hemoglobin level was 0.4 percentage points lower in the patients receiving liraglutide than in those receiving placebo. With a median follow-up of 3.8 years, fewer patients treated with liraglutide experienced the primary composite outcome of first occurrence of non-fatal myocardial infarction, non-fatal stroke, or cardiovascular death. This reduction in the primary outcome was driven mostly by fewer cardiovascular deaths. There were no significant differences in the incidence of adverse events, but patients receiving liraglutide had increased rates of acute gallstone disease. There was no significant difference between groups in the incidence of acute pancreatitis or the incidence of benign or malignant neoplasm. Thus, liraglutide, when added to standard care in patients with type 2 diabetes and high cardiovascular risk, lowered glycated hemoglobin levels and reduced cardiovascular deaths as compared with standard care. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.